Japan's JT-60SA isn't just another machine. It's a behemoth of science, capable of pushing the limits of what's possible. This fusion reactor can heat substances to an almost unimaginable 200 million degrees Celsius. At its core lies a cutting-edge magnet system with 18 colossal coils and a central solenoid, all kept at a near-freezing state with liquid helium to withstand the intense heat and pressure. But what happens if this technological marvel spirals out of control? When you're dealing with forces this powerful, a single misstep could lead to catastrophic consequences far beyond our grasp. Could we be flirting with a danger that's too immense to tame? Stay tuned as we delve into the potential risks of manipulating such raw power. In Japan, a groundbreaking research facility is taking bold steps towards a future powered by fusion energy. JT-60SA isn't just another tokamak, it's a beacon of innovation using state-of-the-art superconducting magnet technology and cutting-edge plasma control systems to push the boundaries of what's possible. This facility is crucial in the global effort to unlock the same energy that powers the sun, aiming to make fusion a practical and endless power source for the world. What makes JT-60SA remarkable is its ability to finely tune and stabilize plasma, the incredibly hot and charged gas essential for fusion. Advanced heating systems, magnetic coils, and additional control mechanisms work together in perfect harmony to keep the plasma stable and in the right conditions, preventing disruptions and ensuring the reactor operates smoothly. This meticulous control is key to achieving sustainable fusion energy. But JT-60SA's mission goes beyond just today's experiments. It's laying the groundwork for future fusion reactors, constantly evolving its research in tandem with global projects like ITER. Originally designed to support ITER, JT-60SA has now expanded its goals to include new plasma scenarios and steady-state operations, crucial for the next generation of fusion power plants like DEMO. The collaboration between Japan and Europe on this project is also vital. It's not just about solving technical challenges. It's about building a community of skilled researchers and engineers, ensuring that the knowledge and expertise needed for future fusion projects continue to grow. October the 26th, 2023 marked a significant milestone when JT-60SA achieved its first plasma, a momentous occasion that confirms the reactor is performing as expected. Sam Davis, project manager at Fusion for Energy, proudly announced the success, emphasizing that everything is functioning perfectly. This achievement is more than just a technical success. It's a glimpse into a future where fusion energy could become a reality, changing the way we power our world forever. Yet, the journey is far from over. Controlling and maintaining such a powerful reaction remains one of the most challenging tasks in modern science. But with each step forward, JT-60SA brings us closer to harnessing the incredible potential of fusion energy, a force that could one day power our planet with clean, sustainable energy. Plasma is a fascinating state of matter, unlike anything we see in everyday life. It's not a solid, liquid, or gas, but a swirling mix of freely moving electrons and positive ions. This unique combination is what powers the sun and all the stars in our universe. Deep within the sun's core, where temperatures soar to around 10 million degrees Celsius, atomic nuclei collide with incredible force. These collisions happen because the intense heat provides the energy needed to overcome the natural repulsion between the positively charged nuclei, allowing them to fuse together. When these nuclei get close enough, the powerful nuclear force takes over, drawing them together despite the electrical push that usually keeps them apart. The sun naturally achieves this through its immense pressure and gravity, packing the nuclei close enough to ensure that these critical collisions happen frequently. 
This process, known as nuclear fusion, is the very heart of the sun's energy production. But why are scientists so eager to replicate this process on Earth? The story begins in 1925, when British scientist Arthur Eddington proposed that stars, including our sun, generate their energy through nuclear fusion, specifically by fusing hydrogen nuclei into helium. This revelation sparked a scientific quest to harness the same reaction to produce vast amounts of energy. Fusion isn't just about producing massive amounts of energy, it's about creating a sustainable and safe power source. If we can crack the code of controlled fusion, we're looking at a future where energy is not only abundant, but also cleaner and more economical. Fusion has the potential to generate four times more energy per kilogram than the fission used in today's nuclear reactors, and it doesn't produce the long-lasting radioactive waste that makes fission so problematic. The science behind fusion is complex, requiring temperatures that exceed 100 million degrees Celsius to get the reaction started. It's not just about heat, though. Precise control of magnetic forces and pressure is crucial to keep the plasma stable and maintain the reaction long enough to produce more energy than it consumes. The sun does this effortlessly, thanks to its immense gravity, but recreating these conditions on Earth is a monumental task. Current experiments are edging closer to the conditions needed for a practical fusion reactor, but major hurdles remain, such as improving energy confinement and plasma stability. And achieving and maintaining these extreme conditions required for fusion isn't just difficult, it's also incredibly costly. Scientists are working tirelessly to find solutions, but the journey is far from over. One of the standout projects in this global effort is Japan's JT60SA reactor, designed to heat plasma to a staggering 200 million degrees Celsius and sustain it for around 100 seconds, as mentioned above. Japan's commitment to fusion doesn't stop with JT60SA. The country has made bold moves to position itself at the forefront of fusion energy development, including the ambitious goal of constructing a working fusion power plant, DEMO, by 2050. DEMO is set to transition from experimental reactors like JT60SA and ITER to real-world commercial fusion power generation. This plant aims to demonstrate the consistent production of net electricity from fusion, a critical step towards sustainable energy. The JT60SA project, despite its importance, has faced significant delays due to unforeseen obstacles, including supply chain issues and the devastating 2011 Tohoku earthquake. These setbacks required a complete redesign of the reactor to withstand future disasters, pushing the completion date back by over 15 years. One of the most exciting developments in the fusion field is the surge of interest and investment from private companies. As more players enter the arena, the momentum behind fusion energy continues to grow. What are your thoughts on the challenges and potential of fusion energy? Are we on the brink of a new energy era? Share your views in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more.